All right, let's talk about how replication works behind the scenes. So I've connected to two of the Mongo Ds right now through Mongo Shell. One is I've connected to the primary at 27018 at that port. In, in the second window, I've connected to this, uh, the secondary Mongo D at 27019. And what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to get rs.status again, just to look at the different configuration. And you can see here that I am 27018 and I am the primary. You can also call rs.ismaster, which will tell you whether or not you're the master. So rs.ismaster is true here, and rs.ismaster yeah, is going to be false here because I'm I'm not I'm not the master here. Now let's go and insert something again. So I'm going to use the test database again, and I'm going to look at db.people.find, and now I'm going to add something to it: db.people.insert. And I'm going to add a new name, and we'll add Richard to that. And as soon as I do that, if I do the find here, I can see them. And if I do the, the find here, oh, I can't run it yet. Let's say slave OK to be able to read from this, this one. And you can see the data has been synchronized. So how does that work? Well there is a special collection, a cap collection, which means that it, it's a certain size and it will loop after it fills in the local database, which contains an op log for replication. So it is, if we show collections, you can see it right here. It's called rs, oplog.rs. So I'm going to look at it. So db.oplog.rs.find, find. Not pretty. And here you can see that in this op log, we have a insert into test.people with, here's the object that was inserted, named Richard. And if we look at the op log on this side, we should see the exact same item. So let's do that. Now this is a, this is a, a capped collection and it's in natural order. It uh, doesn't need an underscore ID because capped collections don't need them. And you can see here that this is the same item here that came through the op log. And the way this replication happens is that, that the secondaries query the primary and ask it for any of the uh, items since a certain time stamp. And then they're brought up to date with all the data that came in the interim. So you, know, you can also add an index. And if you do that, then it'll also get added to the op log. Let's do that, as you can see, index on name. We do that and look at the indexes now. See there's an there's an index. And if you look here in the op log on the other side, we can see that there is going to be an index on this side too and a secondary that the index itself, index creation came through in the op log. So and insert into test that system that indexes. The way indexes are, are actually managed inside MongoDB is they're just basically insertions into a collection to tell this Mongo server that the index exists. Kind of cool, actually. So that's the way replication works. It uses this op log concept. All right, so the question is, what would happen if I shut down the primary? How long would it take for a secondary to get elected. So let's let's do that. So let's see how long a failover would take. So I'm going to quit out of this primary, which was 27018. I'm going to shut it down. I'm going to grep for the Mongo's running. And 27081 uh, looks like it's right here, 6463. I'm just going to kill it. Kill it, 6463. But let's get ready to look at this. Let's make sure I have this one right. Uh, 27018. Process ID 6463. Let's do a rs.status here and see how long it takes. So right now everything is looking good. 27018 is the primary. We're going to go. We're going to kill it. And now we're going to see how long it takes a new primary to be elected. And you can see that 27018 is now uh, unreachable. And it looks like 27019. This uh, is already the primary, so that was that was pretty fast. So that's how fast failover takes in this case, and I think that's pretty typical. I think it take a little longer on a large running system, but that was fast. All right, 
So now it is time for a quiz. And the quiz is, uh, in the video, how long did it take to uh, elect a new primary? Uh, about three seconds, or maybe less. Uh, about 10 seconds, about 30 seconds, or about a minute? And so answer the question.